And talking about addressable, what about cross-screen addressability? Now, uh, where does that stand or where could that be where you're targeting someone in their home uh, and also their IP device that's either on their Wi-Fi in the house but perhaps on the go? Where does cross-screen addressability stand? Yeah, I think it's really still sort of early stage for that. AT&T has taken the lead and I think they're probably the best positioned because not only do they have DirecTV and, and Uverse, but they also have uh, AT&T Wireless. So they have, a, they have access to identifiers against both of those platforms. The thing that I think is, makes it challenging for that cross screen is that generally the providers are not the same and the identifiers are not the same. So in addressable TV, the way that we target is based on name and address. So for example, DirecTV, we utilize the list of their subscribers by name and address, and we match it to a target list based on name and address. We use a third party privacy safe haven for that, and we can see the two lists, find the matches, and that's our target. Um, mobile is generally targeted based on a device ID, not a name and address, and so you don't have the same identifier that's used to build the target list. So it makes it a little bit difficult to know, are you reaching the same person multiple times to frequency cap, to know what's reach versus what's frequency. AT&T, because they're in the position of owning both distribution platforms, is in a somewhat unique position to be able to offer that cross-screen approach with that frequency control that we would really want to see. Because we don't really, what, what we really don't want is, you know, on some platforms that are emerging, you see the same person just getting hit many, 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 many times, and you and you start to read a, reach a point where the person is sort of not happy about how, seeing the same ad over and over again. So we need to be able to control frequency across screens, and AT&T is now starting to offer that. It's a very intriguing offering. Um, we haven't run many campaigns uh, that utilize it, um, but I think that that's going to become something that's going to be of great interest over the next six months to a year, and hopefully we can move it beyond just the AT&T user base. Um, but how you do that where the two platforms are not controlled by the same entity is a little bit more challenging.